Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Yeah, it's kind of been a while since I played this. But, well, I'm back. There's not really much else to say about that and oh yeah, that's right, mouse controls. <laughs> I always have to remember that. I like reach out of the keyboard and it's like, uh, oh, why isn't it working? But nope, it's mouse controls. Okay. Oh yeah, and while I was getting adjusted to everything the game was introducing me to, I realized I forgot um, if Audacity could stop freaking me out by lagging every couple of seconds. I realized that I forgot to check out the map, because I was too, bu too busy getting adjusted to like all these other buttons and stuff like that. Yeah, I never checked the map. Hmm. Right. Oh yeah, I can't believe that I almost completely forgot. I'm using a new mic setup. Which, I don't know if you could tell because it probably sounds about the same, but... I can't clip the mic anymore by being too loud. So that's good. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a lot better because... Before I just assumed that like the clipping was part of just my microphone in general. I don't know if I was turning the wrong thing down or whatever, but it didn't really seem to affect anything when I turned the volume down. It was basically the same as just turning the volume down after I've already recorded it and it's already like clipped and stuff like that. But now the way I've got it set up. I can't clip the mic anymore, no matter how loud I am. Well, I'm sure if I got like a megaphone or something, then I could probably still clip the mic, but you get what I mean. So before I proceed, I do want to go back and see if I missed any chats. Because, you know, when I was playing through the game, I just like do this, it's like, uh, no chests moving along. But. I was actually recommended to, off-screen, just go through every single tile and see if I can find a chest. Well, first of all, here's a chest I can get to, apparently. Randomly blesses the player. Meaning... what exactly? I guess I'll figure that out once I'm done looking for stuff. Can't get to that because I need an item for that. Oh, huh, there's actually different dialogue for if you come back with different party members. Does that have to do with what your, like, party leader is or whatever, because Matt's the leader now. Okay, that's... doesn't apply for just normal conversation, I guess. It absolutely does for examine text, though. Nice. Hey, I don't know what just happened, but I'm curious to see how that looks on the capture. For me, everything totally just turned black. Okay. Neat. Ah. Huh. huh. game gets mad if I try to go somewhere without clicking on the text box. Neat. Neat. God damn it. And that brings us back to where we were. Anyway, now that that's taken care of, I can actually talk to these people. Hmm, I forgot if I actually talked to them or not, because 
That last part sounds a little bit familiar, but the meteor thing, or sorry, meteorite thing didn't sound familiar. Oh well, uh, I think I already fought this guy, because I got to that chest already, so... Oh yeah, I need to check that flare out. Randomly blesses a player, what does that do? Well, since I have no idea what it does, I'll just give it to Matt. I guess I'll see its effects whenever. Hopefully in the next battle, so I don't have to keep wondering what it does. Alright, let's go. Holy spells, do we even have any of those? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Well, I guess I could just do the scan and run away thing. Nice, and then... Right Center Tactics. Lee. Oh, I can actually upgrade this again. Huh. Might as well, it increases attack. And that. Okay, now I am finally ready to fight this thing. What does my sword do again? Counter attacks and make fast holy sword. Neat. Yeah. Recently used? Well, that's a thing. Nice. Oh yeah, that is pretty random. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do another wave anyway. Guess I gotta do that because I don't have any info on the orange bush thing us. Red bush. It's a fire though. No. Oh. For fuck's sake.
okay, I'm not okay with my computer lagging every couple seconds. Um, is OBS alright? Uh... Okay, uh, I'm gonna restart the recording just in case because I'm afraid of OBS just not recording the game. So, yeah. Um, it's not stopping. Uh, I am worried. As a matter of fact, why won't the record stop? It it's it's still recording. What the fuck? Okay, I'm seriously worried at this point. I didn't just lose my recording, right? Oh, okay. I heard, like, the Windows 10 notification sound. I guess, like, the sound menu ke technically calls the sound asterisk or whatever, but... Turns out that was a thing that popped up and I didn't even see it. It says, whoops, OBS has crashed. Would you like to copy the crash log? Like, I was still using OBS. I could still, like, the record timer was still counting up. I could still click the stop recording button even though it didn't work. I could still remix the recording into an MP4 file. I could still do all that. But it said that OBS has crashed when it didn't actually crash. What the fuck? Uh, at least I saved what I did. The only thing that didn't get captured was Natalie died somehow. All right, let's uh, hope nothing else bad happens because I really don't want to lose my recordings. And yeah, Natalie died somehow. I don't know. Uh, I don't like using the coffee, but kind of have to. Damn it, why can't you revive Matt? Well, um... That happened? You know, I think at this point... This might just be a lost cause, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. Hey, now I know what they're capable of doing. That's all I really wanted to see. Because I knew I would not be able to win once two party members went down thanks to that uh, RNG BS attack. I'm fine dying to any other attack, but like... The kind where it's like, oh, uh, this random chance, like 20% chance, maybe like 30% chance or something like that, to just instantly die. Like, I don't really like those attacks in R in uh, RPGs. I was about to say in RNGs. There isn't much I can really do. Maybe level this up, but that's... Well, that only affects the bush. And I didn't have 
problems with the bush. So there's other things that I had trouble with. Okay, I messed around a bit with the party's equipment, and I think I have a setup that works a lot better. Yeah, both Anna and Natalie look kind of ridiculous, but hey, everybody has like a 20% resistance to fire now. I think this is the best I can do. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even see how Natalie looked. It's like vines or something like that, but... Oh, that was just her thing. Matt's thing was separate. Nice. Damn it, wish I used that on that other guy. Oh well. Nice. Not taking any chances at this point. That one taken care of. And these ones are normally threats anyway, but... Death is the status effect. I forgot, what was the status effect that, like, instantly kills you? I'm forgetting if death is the thing that kills you in a certain number of turns, or if it's... Like, you're just immune to being instantly killed by that one sight move. I think it's the former, but I don't really remember. I should be fine, there's only one left. Nice. Easy peasy once you actually get the right equipment for the job. So what's this thing going to be about? Thankfully there's no second wave, so I can just see what the deal is and then go back out. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep my equipment the way it is, because... Hmm. Nah, I've got to keep it the way it is. Oh, here we go. Stupid moth flying in front of my face. How boring indeed. Oh god, damage is reduced on that one. Ah, 
I should be fine. Maybe. I'll find out. I can switch to this to do more damage. And this is the only spell I can use against these things. have to keep checking their uh, resistances and stuff like that. Okay, this guy isn't all that threatening. Should probably get back closer to the microphone again, because even though I'm gonna balance it out later in Audacity, I think the audio quality is better if I'm closer to the microphone. Because if I'm loud and the compression thing has to lower the volume in certain parts, that's much better than if I'm far away and it has to raise the volume of that. Dear God, that that is not good. <laughs> Um, oh god, are you fucking kidding me again? Please tell me the... Okay. There's one thing that I like about OBS. It's that you can just close the program and the video file is still there. I think that's probably because of the way it was programmed. Because it's meant to be like a streaming program. So instead of like, I don't know how video programs work, but it's seems like they don't, they don't actually save, like, the video data to a file until you click the end button. Because of all those stories you hear, like, oh, I lost my recording because my recorder crashed. But OBS is, like, streaming stuff, so it does that or something? I don't know. Keep in mind, I have no idea what I'm talking about. God, this is gonna suck to edit. Just simply because I have so many different recordings to piece together. This is going to be the third one. Yikes. Alright, I got the recording synced up. We're all ready to go. Did I save after that? No, who cares. Me, actually. I should really do that. There we go. It's a good, good I did that anyway. Huh. So look at that. There, these guys are weak to basically everything I can do. Wow. Destroyed. For a second I thought Nally wasn't going to level up. I would have been pissed. Those look fancy. There isn't much I can really do. 